Hello, everyone. This is Teacher Anna. Welcome back to ATA Learning Hub. We won't be having a class today because I received a very interesting voice message from one of my students. I feel that's really funny, and I want to share with you guys too. I'm not sure if you have a same question before as her, but let's listen to what she said. Hi, Teacher Anna. Good day. I hope you are well. So. There's this one question that really bothers me ever since I've been watching Chinese movies or dramas that reflect Chinese culture. Hmm, why do Chinese people like dragons so much? I mean, in most of the movies, historical dramas, and songs, they really feature the mythical creature dragon, and they even say that they are the descendants of dragons and hope. That their children will become a dragon one day. Dragons are very evil and ferocious in our culture. Do Chinese people hope that their children will be evil and fierce when they grow up? I mean, good question, Rao. <laughs> I'm really happy that you are really paying attention to Chinese culture. But I'm sure you said Chinese people want their children to become dragons. You must have been this idiot, Wang Zi. Cheng Long, which I will explain further after I explain the whole dragon thing.、Oh, what about you guys outside of this video? Do you know why Chinese call themselves the descendants of the dragon? In fact, this is just a symbolic statement, and it does not mean that Chinese people are really descendants of dragon. Let me level with you, Shirley, Teacher Anna. Is that dragon? <laughs> No, I'm just joke. Dragon is just a legendary animal in ancient Chinese mythology. The dragon is a very magical animal, capable of overturning clouds and rain. An omnipotent. The appearance is also very special. It combines characteristics of nine animals: deer horn, ox ears. Camel's head, rabbit eyes, snake neck, mirage belly, fish scale, tiger feet, and eagle claws. Mirage, we call it in Chinese, is shen. Mirage, sea monster in Chinese myth and legends, resembling a large oyster or a water dragon. Some people think the shen is big oyster. Some people think that is a water dragon in Chinese myth. The ancestor of the Chinese Xuan Yuan Huang Di defeated Shi Yu and unified the Central Plains tribe. He combined the bear totem of his patrilineal tribe with the snake totem of the matrilineal tribe to create the dragon totem. From then on, the Chinese name the clan began to call himself a descendant of the dragon. Some scholars believe that dragons did. Exist in ancient times, but they are not as magical as people say. In fact, some crocodiles look very similar to dragons. They believe that this animal can predict the weather more keenly, such as roaring before it rains. But in ancient China, the Chinese ancestor had no way to explain this situation, that phenomenon. And we're more afraid of dealing with them, so they regarded them as beasts and worshipped them as gods. Regardless of any of the above explanations, the dragon is indeed the totem of the common belief of the Chinese people for thousands of years. Of course. Teacher Anna also understands that in some Western countries, dragons are fierce and evil. But if everyone is careful to distinguish Chinese dragons, the Western dragons are not the same. The body of Western dragons is closer to that dinosaurs. They have two huge bat wings, four legs, horse-like head with huge claws. Dragons even breathe fire. There is often a sea of 
fire, killing people and slaughtering cities with fire. So they generally appear in West mythology in the image of evil monsters, and they are naturally unlovable. But in some Western cultures, dragons are not all negative images. Such as whales in the United Kingdom, people in Nordic countries also like to use dragons as a logo and symbol. On the Welsh flag, there is a red dragon with its claw raised and the tongue out. The wings are ready to fly. The size of Chinese dragon is closer to snakes, flexible and without wings, flew through the cloud and fog. According to Chinese myth, and the legend, the dragon will ring to benefit people's production and crops and save people. Therefore, what often appears with the Chinese dragon is that the auspicious cloud pattern is an auspicious symbol and is deeply loved by the Chinese and has a completely different culture meaning. In ancient China, the dragon symbolized power and nobility, so every emperor called himself the Emperor of Chu Dragon Zhen Long Tian Zi, the Emperor of the Chu Dragon. Their children are the son of the dragon. The chair they sit on the drama, we call it Long Yi. Is that the same as what you see in Chinese costume dramas? In the book, no matter in the past or now, people dance dragon and raise the dragon ball during traditional festivals. When the store opens, firecrackers and dragon dance will be set up. Classmates who is living in China are certainly no surprise with that, right? But if you are not in China, then during the festival, like teacher Anna, has seen dragon dance in Singapore and Philippines Chinatown. You may try your luck in Chinatown, especially in big Chinese festivals, if you are interested about that. Chinese people often refer to those excellent, successful people as dragon among people. Ren Zhong Zhi Long. Wow. And summarize that their expectations of their children as Wang Zi Cheng Long. Wang means hot. Zi, children. Cheng Long become a dragon. That means they hope their children to become a dragon. But in real meaning, the Chinese parents hope that their children will be as powerful and sexful as dragons in the future. Of course, it's not because they want them to become evil. <laughs> Even now, many Chinese people still use dragon to name it. You should familiar with Jackie Chan. His Chinese name is Cheng Long. Therefore, the dragon has become a part of Chinese culture. It integrates ideas, pursuits, and beliefs of the Chinese people, and has also become the spiritual symbol of today's Chinese clan. I hope that after listening to my explanation today, if one day your Chinese friend will give you a gift about the dragon, or saying you are a dragon among people. Don't get them wrong. In fact, they are complimenting you, thinking you are very good and excellent. They do not think you are an evil person. Let's end off here today. You are welcome to ask questions to the teachers. You can also leave a message directly in the comments or send an email to let us know. See you all in the next video. Bye.